The Ozarks team at Century 21 Lee Mac Realty presents The Bluff House. Located in north central Arkansas where Crooked Creek enters the majestic White River, this three bedroom, three and a half bath home is built along the face of a bluff on a very private 70 acre wooded lot. The natural elegance and beauty of these tranquil surroundings flow through the many decks and rooms of this gorgeous home, making it a place you never want to leave. Please join me on this exciting and beautiful tour. Hi, I'm Heather Hendricks with the Ozark team at Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, and I'm here with my teammate Tracy Codd and John Chaub behind the camera today. Hello, I'm here. And we are excited to take you on a tour of this beautiful bluff home um, that overlooks Crooked Creek and the White River and has a lovely, nice wooded 70 acres here in Flippin, Arkansas. Where well, are they in for a treat today? That's right. Heather, that looks like it's right on the side of the bluff. It is. It's built into the bluff. Wow, that's why they call it the bluff house, I guess. That's right. And, and even on your way down the steps, you can see the water. And this stairway, stairway down is just amazing. It is. It's beautiful rock and wood. And on either side, um, you can put water and it will just drip down. And they have a little water feature that's really pretty. You mean like the waterfall falls into the little That's right. areas? Oh, cool. So you would have little pond filled areas here. This is really nice. You know, Tracy, I really love that right here on this side or even down here where they have the little bench. You can look to your left and see Crooked Creek, and over here on your right, you can see the White River. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah. So you mean the Crooked Creek flows right into the White River right here? That's right. Yep, we're just sitting here on the corner of it, um, up on the bluff. Oh, that's amazing. And this spot would be perfect to put a hot tub. Yeah. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. And all of your access points to uh, underneath the house is here for your water heater, your central vac, the cross face area oh, for your septic, great. so you have yeah. easy access. Very convenient. That's right. And John, did you get a, a good view of that bluff there? Oh my. Well, I know this house is just built right into the bluff. It's beautiful. Uh, its foundation is on this huge rock. And just right down here, Tracy, uh, the owner has a path all the way down to the water and when the water is a little bit lower there are a couple of islands that um, you know if you decided to float either the White River or down Crooked Creek to the house um, you could get off, swim, fish. Uh, we have seen several people out here fishing. Oh nice, yeah. We need to try that sometime. Mm -hmm. You could just walk right up here. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And the view just keeps getting better and better. I mean, look at this view from right here. Oh my goodness. It just looks like a picture, doesn't it? It does. Beautiful scenery. It doesn't get any better than that. And you had mentioned earlier with the water change, you can see how the water changes from Crooked Creek going into the white. Yeah, you can actually see the difference in the flowing mm -hmm. too. Very cool. And I think we just need to take them around to the rest of the deck. I mean, look at all this deck space. I know. This would be perfect for family, friends, work with retreat. I think I'm going to sit down for a minute and have a glass of tea. What do you think? Me too. Uh, do we have to John, show would them? would you like some tea? Yes, please. Do we have to show them the rest of the house? Or can we just sit right here and enjoy the view? Well, I think that the view is what sells the house. <laughs> But they might want to know if there's a bedroom or two. I don't know. That's true. <laughs> well, before we show them the bedroom, we should probably show them the outdoor wet bar. I oh, know this and is such a cool little building here. I know, Almost like it a tiki it is. bar. And you have sliding glass doors on this side and this side, so you could have them both open and enjoying the water and your, uh, the people you have over. Can I have a lemonade? Make it pink, yes. please. 
I'd like a Diet Coke, please. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so you have a sink over here, you have electric out here, has a nice little fan for breeze, and you have storage under here. So Heather, if, if someone buys it, are they, uh, are you going to stay and serve I refreshments? Could. I huh? could. Just for a free trip over here. Here we get a good look at the house. It's a beautiful house, many levels. And I suspect every level has the deck and a view. I bet it does. Oh my. We should go inside and check. Let's do it. Well, let's go inside. Come on, I'm excited. Let's check out the kitchen. I absolutely love this kitchen. What I love about this place is all the natural light, all the windows. Those are huge. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. I love the bay breakfast area with all the windows and that gorgeous view mm -hmm. all the way around. And just the details, like at the top with all the cutouts and Everything. really nice kitchen area. Yes, you've actually got an indoor grill. That comes in handy, On the especially when it's raining. Yes. All of your appliances are staying. And just look out the kitchen window sink, John, and you can see Cricket Creek. I imagine it wouldn't get much cooking done in this kitchen because you'd just be <laughs> staring at the view. Exactly. That's right. And nice appliances. You have a dishwasher your electric range oven, your microwave, and your refrigerator, and plenty of counter and cabinet space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you get uh, your guests' attention when they're looking out the window all the time to find out what they want? <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> and I find it very convenient for the laundry room to be right here by the kitchen. As you come in the front door, this is what you would walk straight into from the foyer. It's That's nice really and roomy. Yeah, I it love is. It. Lots of cabinet space. Very convenient. Yes. What's up this way, Heather? Uh, you have a half bath just up the steps there. Oh, okay. That's also convenient. You know, if you're working outside or if you're in the kitchen, there's the bathroom, there's the laundry room. And, and here is your humble cameraman because this bathroom has mirrors on every wall. By the way, Heather, I noticed um, everywhere I'm going, I'm walking on some original hardwood floors. Okay. And you'll see that throughout the house when you go down to the living room and the, you know, you could use that at the dining room area too. And isn't this a very spacious room? Yes, just down the hall from the kitchen, correct? Yeah, That's right. Come yeah. into the, this would be like a little dining room area. And once chicken. again, very large windows, lots of natural light. And you have two exterior doors that lead out onto the deck. So easy for in and out access if you're entertaining. Absolutely gorgeous. And I could sit on the couch probably all day with a good book, my coffee, sitting here watching the river. Absolutely. And all this furniture is good size. You could fit a lot of people in here. Oh, yeah. This house is designed very uniquely, and it's very spacious and beautiful. It's unique, spacious, and beautiful. What's this room going out of the living room area? I, I yeah. think I would use this as my office. It does have a closet, so if you did need extra room for yes. people to come and stay, mm -hmm. um, you could put a a bed in here mm -hmm. and it has a, a deep closet mm -hmm. but this would be great for craft room sewing room mm -hmm. office area just depending on what your needs for the place is well you gals climbing up in the world are you that's right we're gonna go check out the rest of the guest bedrooms and bathrooms and the masters up here too so this is a, a level up with it with a bedroom and a bathroom on this level correct that's right yes so this is a unique bathroom also. Wow, that is a round tub, isn't it? And shower. I'll be. 
You know, the interesting thing about the layout of this home is that because it's built on a, a uh, bluff side, you're actually climbing up the buff as you go yeah, up the house. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty neat. And, and if here's the guest bedroom. And a good size, it has a sliding glass door in here. And nice and private when you look out the windows. Just perfect for a guest. That's right. And their own bathroom across the hall. Well, let's go check out the master because, I mean, check out this area and that view. Oh, this is a beautiful space. Is, is this the master bedroom? The master Part of it. suite is what we're going to call it. I right? got it. <laughs> nice little sitting area. You have your exterior doors leading out on your deck. Private deck just for the That's master right. suite? Private deck. And you have a little bit more private room, um, king size bed. You have double doors leading out onto your deck here. And can you imagine waking up with a view like that? It's crazy. And you can configure your space however you want to. You can make this into the sitting area and this into the bedroom if you would like. That's right. But you would have more light to wake you up in the morning. And I just think this bathroom is really neat. It is very neat. You have double sinks and a huge walk-in closet. Heather, how big is that? Is, can you get in there? Well, I think a lot of me could fit in here. I guess. <laughs> that's, awesome. that's a, that's a bedroom, isn't it? It that is. is an awesome and then they closet. have these built-in drawers in here, which I think is really neat. And an attic fan. Beautiful. And walk into that shower, John. That's going to be a nice view, too. Isn't that neat? It is amazing. You know, in all the world, there's only one White River. And the people that built this house, they knew that that was the most important feature of the house. But can you guys take me out to that deck? Because I haven't been out we there sure yet. We sure can. We may not come back inside again, though. <laughs> Wow, this, this is a picturesque view. Don't you feel like you're on top of the world right yes. now? Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. I love seeing all the mountains in the background. You know, Tracy, I take that back. I thought I'd be down there, but I may be up may here. Maybe up here, yeah. Getting a Drink, bird's eye view. That's right. Drinking my coffee, having my lemonade. I think we've got one more area to look at. Oh, yeah. Let's go see. I wonder if it has a deck off of the bedroom. I don't know why it wouldn't. Every other room has a deck. And, John, you're already in the room that I wanted to show you next is the bathroom. Well, look at that. And it has a closet tub. It's a pretty spacious guest bathroom. That is so cute. And just this way, we have another guest bedroom. And I love the skylights in here. And guess what, John? You can step out on the deck here, too. I told you there would be a deck <laughs> on every room your own little private deck for this room. And not only do you have river view, but you have pasture view, which is a really neat place. On this side, you still have your wooded view. Mm -hmm. Very private up here. That scenery just doesn't get better than that. And we don't want to forget the 41 by 29 foot garage shop with electric and water. This is a perfect place to store your toys and do your hobbies. Well, I think that's about it, but um, if they want to find out more information about this house or to schedule a private tour, um, you can find us at enjoytheozarks.com. Thank you. Bye-bye. To find out more about this beautiful home or to schedule a showing, go to enjoytheozarks.com. On Google or Facebook, search for The Ozarks Team.
The Ozarks team, Century 21 Limac Realty, 1024 Highway 62B East in Mountain Home, Arkansas.